Hello internet friends! What's good with jello boobies? If I'm talking a little quiet, it's because it's like what? 1, 2 a.m. in the morning and I don't want to wake up my dad. I really want him to get a good night's sleep. So I'm talking a little quietly. <sighs> Hi, how are you? If you're new to my channel, welcome! This video is my current skincare routine and I think this is one that I'm gonna really keep just because it's been working so well for me and it really helped clear up my skin. My skin randomly went through this like weird phase again. I just kept breaking out. My skin was super bad and like my forehead especially was covered in acne. So I fixed that and I'm back to having clear skin which I'm very satisfied and happy with. So I've also been receiving requests to do do a skincare routine so here I am doing it if you have any other requests for other videos you want to see on my channel leave them in the comments below so I hope that intro was okay for you guys before I wash my face and talk to you guys about what products I use bitch I'm gonna change out of this because I want to be in comfortable pajamas so I'll be right back bitch hello was good welcome now we're gonna oh wait is that okay? Okay, is that fine? Okay, whatever. Hello! So, before I continue and actually start showing you guys my shit, <sighs> so I'm gonna just tell you guys something that I used to do but I don't do anymore. Um, it's super beneficial for your skin though. My sister does it and she loves doing it. Her skin looks extra good after doing it. Anyways, back when I was going through that random like phase of breaking out a lot and having just so much acne, especially on my forehead, I wanted to like try different things to clear up my skin. So one of the things I bought was a jade roller. That shit was cool. I loved it at the beginning but then I started kind of being like what the fuck because i had a bunch of pimples on my forehead so i'd be like going over bumps and i was just like i don't <laughs> my middle sister she had a jade roller but then hers broke somehow so i just gave her mine because of my acne situation but now my acne is gone and i really want to use the jade roller again just because i want to try my best to keep my skin like line wrinkle free <laughs> so yeah just wanted to randomly throw that out there because um Oh. A product that I try to use to help clear my skin when I was going through the awkward phase that I had kind of recently was this charcoal acne clearing cleanser Biore free your pores shit. I bought this because my middle sister like I fucking copy her all the fuck time. I mean it felt nice, it was very refreshing for my skin but really did not help me in terms of clearing my acne so you know you kind of have to test out different skin products. Everyone's skin is unique so you kind of have to experiment and try out different products when i wash my face excuse like i probably look a fucking egg i can't see anyways if i'm washing my face and i wear makeup and i have to wash off the makeup what i use is this clean and clear makeup dissolving foaming cleanser and i actually love using this shit because because it foams i love foamy stuff especially like foamy soaps Ugh, i don't know sexy sexy it does its job i like using this and i've used it for a while <sighs> that's what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna pretty much use this to take off any oil and like my concealer and like whatever I put on my face and like powders and stuff. Sorry if the lighting is kind of crappy and it changes my bad. Oh fuck. As you can see, so. So I mainly like using this foaming makeup removing cleanser for like my eye area to take off the makeup around my eyes. Anyways, onto the thing that actually helped clear up my skin super quickly. I started seeing results, I think probably the next day um, after the first time I used it, which is African black soap, which you probably expected. African black soap is amazing. This one is amazing. Um, This isn't by the brand that a lot of people have. So I use this little brush to lather it all over my face and i really like it because this soap also foams in your face too especially if you're wooden a lot of people use it with one of those like you know professional clearasil like rubbing face washer things that really like scrubs into your skin and it's like battery powered if you know what i'm saying but mine is like a dinky cheap one from an asian dollar store and it works amazingly well anyways so you know okay I'll So yeah, I pretty much lather this and- Ew! 
And then I rinse, like, duh. This product leaves your skin feeling so fucking squeaky clean. So you know when you wash dishes, and when you rinse it, and you kind of, like, use your fingers and rub against the, for example, a clean plate, and it's squeaky clean, because you can feel, wait. And you're just, like, rinsing it, and you can feel how squeaky clean it is. That's what your face feels like after African black soap, unless I'm perfect. And then obviously I rinse my brush. I don't have the bougie like battery power charging one. But I'm happy with this one. So whatever. Now I'm gonna go back. Let me just Okay. I'm gonna use this purifying toner by Nivea for combination to oily skin, which is what I pretty much have, so Oh, I don't do this toner part all the time. Sometimes I forget or sometimes I'm just like, fuck it, I don't care, not today, not some white. But this is, oh, I really like doing this step though because it's like really refreshing. I don't know, I guess I kind of just let that dry or sink more into my skin, whatever sink deeper into my skin, I don't know. I obviously moisturize, so the one moisturizer I use is, you know, the very common clean and clear, but another moisturizing method method that I do is a combination of bio oil and aloe vera gel. I will show you how I do this combo because I like using this. I love using this combo especially in the summer. Just that's probably when it feels the best. Anyways, I take bio oil and I put it on my ring fingers and I pretty much apply this to my eye area just under my eyes and then um so yeah so I basically just use bio oil for my eye area. And I don't know, I just like to use that so I can keep the skin around my eyes nice and soft. But also because aloe vera gel hurts like a motherfucker. When it gets close to your eyes, which is why I do that to my eyes first. And then, you know, just to avoid that stinging shit feeling that you get from using this too close to your eyes. <sighs> Pretty much just rub the aloe vera gel all over my face. I also like to go past my jawline and like kind of get my neck because I don't know, they say that your neck ages with your face. You know, I want to keep my skin nice. <clears throat> If I have a pimple or if I have a spot and it feels like I'm growing a pimple, then I'll use my my topical acne therapy, which is a prescribed clindoxyl ADV gel. Um, this is literally chemicals. Um, I don't know. This was really effective for me. It's clindoxyl ADV gel. Yeah. I'm gonna use my sister. <laughs> Lip oil by NYX. I have really poor eyesight, like so I, I literally cannot see. I forgot to mention this, but I have a very shit diet at the moment and I'm trying to improve and change that. When I was younger, like what, 13, 14, I tried really hard to be healthy and I'd eat like acai smoothie bowls on smoothie bowls. But no, recently it's just been like straight up just junk food 24 fucking 7. This is also kind of like a recent thing. I haven't done this in a while and I'm like doing this for like for the first time in such a long time. But I really want to try to be consistent with this. This is kind of like a new addition to my skincare routine. I've never used castor oil before. But I kind of want to incorporate it into like, you know, my every night type of thing. Just like a little thing that I apply every night. Going to put it on my ring finger and just rub it on to my lash line and try to really get it in there. Oh fuck bro. That shit hurting. As some of you guys may or may not know, I naturally have very very nice lashes. They're just like really long and thick and whatever and I get them from my dad. Anyways, this one time I randomly impulsively decided to get lash extensions for no goddamn reason. I got them done in a girl's kitchen. Don't know. I'm just like a wild bitch. Um... Oh yeah, continuing on with my fucking story. Um, it was so random. Like, I fucking hated them. I don't know why I did that to myself. I really just am very impulsive sometimes. And I can't control myself. It's kind of like me with acrylic nails. Like, once I get them on, I immediately kind of regret it. And I want to take them off just because I'd like to be comfortable. That's Comfort is kind of something that I always, something that I have always prioritized. The price of the lashes that I got were actually really cheap. <sighs> Excuse me. And so, I mean, I'm not really surprised that they did hurt. They'd be better quality if they were in the 200 scale, but I think I got mine done for like, what, 60 bucks or something like that. So yeah, that's why I bought this. And then I also use it for my eyebrows because I don't really like filling my eyebrows in. So but yeah, I think that's pretty much it.
yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please thumb me hard i would really appreciate it spam the comment section i love reading comments and i like to respond to as many as i can you can comment literally the most random thing like asshole and i will love it and subscribe to my channel i post every tuesday uh turn on post notifications if you want if you don't want to that's cool too i don't really care um and yeah so i'll see you next tuesday jolly titties